Hey, good morning. Welcome to our first Wednesday show. And Marcus has a mystery soap today for me from Vanula. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesday and Saturday mornings... We're the Barbershop Duet. Welcome to our first Wednesday. We decided to spread out the shows a little bit and do one halfway through the week to have a little more fun. We have a lot of soaps backing up and we just couldn't get them oh, open fast man, enough. There so. you go. So <laughs> we are the newbies in the community. This show is about us hat in hand opening and experiencing our very first shave soaps for the very first time and hopefully bringing some of you along with us into the world of wet shaving. Yeah, and we've been looking on YouTube recently recently at some of the Shave Den videos to get inspired uh, how to create our space into more of our own little yeah. Shave Den. And what I've noticed about watching the Shave of the Day videos and things is that these guys have their shaving ritual down. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. It's self-care. It's smooth. Yes. It's smooth. <laughs> um, so one of the things about my shaving that I noticed is that we have these little metal spoons to get the soap out of the container. Right. And the worst part of my day was washing that little spoon because it's tiny and it's slippery and the soap is super slippery. Right. But the plastic disposable applicators we didn't like because they're yeah. adding more plastic to things just right. to save me 10 seconds. So we found this. These are little wooden wax applicators, cosmetic applicators, and they're a little bit shorter than the length of a Q-tip. Right. And this is a Q-tip dispenser. So I just put this in my cabinet next to the soaps, and when I'm ready, I just grab one out, and I scoop like that. It's the perfect size. That side for a little bit more, that side for a little bit less, and they are biodegradable. Yes, so, so you can feel better about the world So here. my first little tip, and uh, if anybody knows how to make this better, I'm sure where we're at does. right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> throw it out there. And we got a box in the mail this morning from Douglas and Fran at Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Yes. We wanted to say thank you. So they grateful. sent us something for our show. I think Douglas was concerned about the piano. Uh, he was a music teacher at one point, so I think he's a little concerned. Uh, so uh, he said, is this travel scuttle? I didn't even know what a scuttle was. You take the cork out and you fill it with water. Warm water goes on the inside and it keeps the lather warm. Lather warm. How so we'll be using this to make the lather for our mystery Very today. Official. All right, put on your blindfold. Right. It is time. We are going to meet the soap. This soap is based on one of my favorite scents growing up. Uh, I found it tucked away in a little corner of the Vanille site, and I immediately wondered if Sarah would be able to guess what it was. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to open it live on the show with her blindfold on. I have so no idea what's happening. This is where I get to do the unboxing alone. Yep. It's sad to unbox alone. I mean, I okay. guess I could probably help it's, you. I can't. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is based, like I said, on a very classic and iconic American scent that has been around for over 100 years. Uh, it was engineered in the United States, and it remains a rather closely guarded secret when it comes to the formula. So I'm very intrigued. I, I don't have will any idea. <laughs> be sure. There's a lot. Okay. Ooh. Monica at Vanillet is always so good at throwing in little samples and we give away these samples because we might want to do an episode on one of these soaps on the show. So we are going to give away those samples to you on our next live. And this, ha ha, this is the soap that Sarah has no idea. Yeah, don't say it out loud. I'm not going to say it out loud. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're going to combine a couple of things for this next section. We're going to combine the original scent notes, and we're going to combine our first impressions uh, so that Sarah has an idea of what she is smelling. So, first impressions. Okay, are your eyes shut? They're shut. Okay, you promise? Because if you catch a glimpse of this, you'll know what it no, is. No, and that's why I left a little flap here, just in case. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so these are the original scent notes for this formula. You ready? Okay. The essences of lime, cinnamon, orange, coriander, hmm. vanilla, nutmeg, oh. and lemon. Huh. Okay, okay, so those are your scent notes. Okay. Now I'm going to open the soap. Let's take a look at the pour. Oh, Monica. Yeah, this is a new one for that. us. We don't know what Vanille. That is a beautiful. Pour looks like. That's not even a pour. That's a piping. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. 
All right. Are you ready? I am not sure. But Let us see、out. if Sarah can identify this classic American scent.、Mm. Ready? Okay. Oh wow! Okay, is it Coca Cola? Wow, you were really good. I did、yes. not think is... from reading those at all <laughs> that it would smell like it that. It's Coca Cola, <laughs> and those are the set notes of Coca Cola. Isn't that something you、wow. can take your blindfold off? What was? Wow, that was quick. What was the one that you used to put on the stove? I、though? almost got a can of tuna and put it just to see what she would do, but that would have been really. Although、bad. I probably would just want to eat it, so. <laughs> So this is this is the Vanille. Yeah, how fun!、Coca-Cola. And look I did at the not、pour. see that. Awesome. That Monica does. Yeah, it's, it's almost like, like a. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, it does it have a super Christmassy smell. Like if you don't think it really、Coca-Cola. does. And I think that's why I wanted to do, to do this to my my beloved is <laughs> that I, I don't think Coca Cola smells like you think it does when, when、right. you think because it doesn't taste the same but it、no. has this beautiful it's made of aromatics it smells amazing oh and it's funny because before I I started these the real part of my shaving journey <laughs> I I used to just put Sea Breeze on my face at the end right and Sea Breeze smells a lot like Coca Cola if any of you have Sea Breeze at home. Spray some and think things go better with Coca Cola, and tell me I'm wrong. It's very close. It's funny, and I don't know why I knew it was Coca Cola and not like Dr Pepper or Pepsi, but I could tell that. Yeah, but that's an awesome label, and everything totally goes、oh, with it. Oh, it's a beautiful label, reminiscent of the original Coke, and yet just different enough to be fun. What do you smell if you didn't know this was supposed to be Coca Cola? Right. So if this was just like a designer fragrance, would it work? It's. I have to say, it's one of the sweeter ones we've had. Yeah. So that's new to me. Like, but it's not. It's not like a heavy sweet. Like you know, if you eat too much candy sweet, it just smells. There's a little after like. Yeah. Sweetness、right. to it that、and、I know, wouldn't normally. This is one of those soaps where I smell all the pieces. Yes, I would agree. Yeah. And、Let's、I suspect that, that we need to make a lather. So let me grab one of my new wooden sticks. Yeah. Like that. Now you're gonna mess up one so, of those pretty pores. I know. What are you gonna do though? So I will scoop some out and I put some here, and we will do some magic because some of you, rightfully so, are a little concerned about our piano. So ready, we're going to do a little bewitched thing. Can you wiggle your nose? And there we are, our piano cover here. Keep it safe and bright and fun.、Cover. Oh, this is a lovely. Look at the shape of the skull. It keeps all the lather. Ah, this is actually one of the deeper ones. Yeah, this、use. is this is much deeper than our the other two bowls that we have. This is cool. That's kind of fun to have a mix up here. Love it. Yeah,、all、and、right. you have a handle to hold on to. And have, yeah, yeah. All the other ones we have, yeah, more、this. of a bowl. Wow, it it calmed it down a little bit. Now you know, like when your Coke、oh. has been out for a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. not when you first open the can or、right. you get that little whiff out. It's it's just been you know. See, this is why I'm so glad when we started this. Somebody told us to always make a lather. Yeah, it totally changes, transforms it. What you know, whether it blends them together or it makes you smell different things. Yeah, we'll have to ask them. Like, how do you know? Is that intentional, or you soap, just have to let it? Like in the、yeah. lather, you have to kind of see into the future, right? Right. So it starts with cinnamon. I do get that, but it's not in the forefront. It's just it's kind of hidden、you're、in the、right. back. You're right. You're right. It's like you know how for a lot of scents, patchouli like grounds it from underneath.、Mm, yeah, and that's what the cinnamon's doing. Totally, it's, ba- it's barely kind of noticeable. I think the lemon and lime and orange pop、yes. out a lot. There's that zesty kind of a thing, for sure. Yeah, yeah.、Um, Let's see, coriander. I'm not sure like, if I've worked that with that enough. Yeah, you, you got some on your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I it's I, or maybe just the combo of that with the vanilla and the、it's、nutmeg. Lovely lather, Monica. The the spices blend well. Like I don't know if I can pick one out between the coriander, vanilla, or nutmeg. Like it feels like they're all blended together. That's funny. It's super fun though. I'm glad、it、you、is. found this one. Yeah, oh, me too. It's just so fun. Like on a summer day, or you、totally. go to a picnic or something,、mm-hmm, start with a little、mm-hmm. Coca-Cola, and it's a lovely feeling lather. You feel?、Mm. You know what I really like about the world of shaving soaps is that you'll have some shaving soaps that have just the most beautiful blend of sophisticated scent notes, and then you'll have one based on bubble gum, right? Or grape soda, or or bubble gum ice cream, or it can really go so many lanes of like scent. Yeah, it could be、know? anything, and 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 there's one that just smells like it's a good old American dirt.、Uh, you know, right? But that's what we liked because it really transforms you. 
into, you know, where that smell would be, like a memory, or yeah. you escape to if it's something new. Like, we're just having fun kind of exploring our new senses, let's say. Yeah. Or it brings up memories of other scents. Totally. Because, like, when you smell Coca-Cola, or the other day when I smelled what I what I think is the cologne that my dad's best right. friend used to yes. wear. You know, I could smell his suit being pressed. It's totally, just yeah. other memories come back. So, I know. This is all the, like, the summer fun memories are coming yeah. up. And, and I had trouble not saying anything because you just ordered one yesterday. Oh, I did. Uh, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Do, right. Apparently, we were thinking uh, so I was like, like Ooh, we're going to have a whole little ice chest going on here. <laughs> oh, so, that's a good way to put it. how do you feel about like the novelty scents? Because one of the ones we just ordered was based on York Peppermint Patties, right? It's the Dork right. one from Wet Shaving Company. Um, and then there was another one that I saw coming out, Cracker Jack. I mean, how do you feel about like the novelty scents? What do you think they bring to things? You know, I had no idea that they existed, but it's funny because this to me reminds me when I was little and we had, I think it was Smackers Chapstick. Oh, yeah. And there would be ones that would come out that were like based off of Junior Mints or something right. funny. Right, Lip Smackers. Yes, there you go. Yes, And I, I this is kind of like the soap version of that, of like, you right. know, if it just it's just a little fun escape. It's not to be... I don't want to say too serious because clearly the artisan work right. is very serious. Oh, right. But to have a fun challenge to recreate that somehow, right. um, at least I hope it's fun. Uh, we are having fun. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like the blend of having very complex smells and different things that are new to me, but also having something familiar. Yeah. My mom put up a bit of a fight, but she let me do my room in Coca-Cola right. when I was 12. And I amassed a, a large collection of antiques that are still in the Yes, closet. yes, yes. We'll have to go through those. All the collectibles, days. yeah. But it uh, just used to be my favorite, the the American icon of Coca-Cola, just that logo, right? So I was yeah. so happy to see Banyale had this No, and, and she did well. Oh, so, I can't wait to shave with this. So yeah. I know what it's going to feel like. It's going to feel like I'm drinking a Coke, right? It's just that constant smell intake. Yeah, right. Oh, this is just the perfect summer scent. And w would you like a Coke? I'll tell you how to get your own. <laughs> Head over to the Vanillet site, where they have a wide range of shaving soaps and other products. Well, I've had my shave, and I'm still only on my third box of razor blades. I'm still very, very new to this. But while that cola scent might be considered a novelty by some, the soap itself is not. It is an exceptional soap, and it gave me an exceptional shave, and I loved the way it felt as it gave my face a hug. Scent profile strength, it would probably be, I would say, a three on our scent meter, and for longevity, I'd say a two. So I wasn't sitting around an hour later smelling of the Coke. It dissipated right about when it should. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Messages. This is where we talk about the emails and the DMs that we'll get someday, but we're just kind of starting out right now. So from the live chats last weekend, we will pick someone to get the doctors in Shave Soap. It's their version of Dr. Pepper, and we're grateful that you joined us in the live chat. So we'll be picking one of you at random and sending this out to you. You know what I like now that I've had a couple of minutes with it? It doesn't, it doesn't smell like Coca-Cola. It smells like a perfumer's version of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's it's no, it's way more complex, and you do get all those layers coming through. Yeah, like when we when we tried the grape soda one that came with right. the bowl because we didn't know it was coming, so we accidentally smelled Surprise. it. Uh, but it smelled exactly like grape soda. This this is a little different. I know. I wonder if we re lather the grape one if it's going to explode like this did. Yeah, but this is a more refined scent. This is not an exact Coca Cola. This is a more refined cola smell. I think it's almost like what cola came from cola who would have thought i had no idea how big this shaving soap world was so much so we've been having a little too much fun buying shave soap so we have about 30 waiting for us over on the piano i over can't there. see the piano anymore <laughs> no. to be honest but we're so excited to bring them to you and to meet a couple of new friends every week from now until halloween when season one ends don't forget you have an appointment at 9 a.m with the barbershop duet you'll smell better just watching this <laughs> 